Hi, in this video we will go through the most important features of the Unreal Engine localization tool. At the end you will know how to select words to be translated in Unreal Engine. I will also show you how to change the language at the push of a button, how to avoid double translations with an example of the word menu, how you can translate text in blueprints and how you can adapt objects or actors to a language. This means that if the language changes, then the object, material or something else will also change. Alright, let's get started. Open the localization dashboard under tools. Here activate and expand getter from packages. Under include path wildcards, you can add one or more to the array and then select a folder using the three dots. The selected folder will then be scanned by the system and all objects in the folder that can be translated will be selected. Next, under Add New Culture, select a language to be translated in your project. I will select German for myself. Make sure that native is set to English if the default language of your project is English. And that's it, now click on Gather Text. All words that can be translated will be now found under word count. Here it is also important to say that only words of the variable type text are found. It is not possible to translate strings, but all widget texts are already of the type text and in the blueprint you can change the variable type at the touch of a button. If you now press the first button under actions from the German language, you will be taken to the translation window. Here you can now see all the words that you can translate in this project. But I can already see one word in the list that I don't want to translate, named bad word. So I close the window and go to where bad word appears. Here I can now select bad word and press the button with the flag on the right side in the details window under text. This is the localization button. It deals with everything to do with localization. Here I can now uncheck the localized checkbox. This means that this text is not recorded by the localization tool and no longer appears in the list. If we now open the localization tool and recreate the list under gather text, we can see that the word count has dropped from 6 to 4, because the words bad and word are no longer being read. We now open the translation list in German again. Here we can write our translation under translation. But for now, I only translated hello and welcome. Menu occurs twice, which is not a problem in this case, but if you want to localize a large project, then a word can occur hundreds of times. So there is a solution for this too. But before we do that, let's go back one window first, because we can already click on the count words button here. We can then see how far we have come with our translation. We have translated two out of four words for the German translation. Now we just have to compile everything and then it will work in our project. That means if we go to the UI window for example and change the language, at the top we can see the translation of the words that we have translated. When we start the project we also see the debug message because we also wanted to translate the word hello in the blueprint. Under editor preferences you can also change the preview game language under region and languages. Then the selected language will change when you start the project. If we test it now we will immediately see the translation of welcome and hello. Alright, now let's take care of the word menu. To do this, create a new string table under miscellaneous and give it a name. Open it and at the bottom, under key, you can now give it a unique key and under source string, give it a word which should be displayed. It can also be the same word as the key. Then click on that to include it. We then go back to the UI. Here we can now select the word menu 
and change the string table at the localization button. Then we can select the key. Since we only have one key, it is immediately set to menu. This means that we can no longer change this text in a widget. The text can only be changed via the string table, but then it is also changed for all texts that are assigned to it at the same time. I will do the same for the second word menu and the other widget. Now, when we go back to the dashboard, we first click on gather text Now we only have three words left in the list and we are done with two out of the three in the German translation. If we press the button again, we will only see the word menu because we are in the untranslated tab. The other words can be found in the completed tab. If we now translate it, and restart the word count, we will see that we have translated all the words, then we just have to compile. If we test it now, we will immediately see that everything is translated. Next we will select an object that is not text and change it when the language is changed. In my case, I will change this cube. All you have to do is to right click on the asset, then under asset localization, select the language and then create localized asset. I will select German, which means that if the language is set to German, the asset will change. Now a new folder path has been created. Under L10N you will find all the assets you want to be localized. Here is our cube. To change the cube I will just have to replace it with a new mesh. For this I will right click and replace the mesh with a new file. And that's it. I will drag the actor into the level so that we can see how it changes. But the actor doesn't change when you start the project in the editor. You have to start the project in the standalone window. Here it is important to know that you cannot change an actor in runtime. That means you have to change the language before the level can be loaded with the actor. If you are already in the level and the language changes, then the actor will not change. Finally, I will show you how you can change the language at the touch of a button. To do this, go to the widget. Ideally, you would use a combo box so that you can select multiple languages, but for this tutorial we only need two languages, so I will use a button. To do this, I go to the blueprint graph and create an event for clicking the button. Next I will create a flip-flop node. At the A output of the node I create a set current culture node. You can find the culture in the localization dashboard if you hover over your language. For German the culture is DE-DE and for English the culture is EN. Again in the blueprint I used DE-DE for the culture. And for the B execution I set the culture back to EN. So that's it. If you now try to test the whole thing in the editor again, it won't work. Because you have to start the project as a standalone, as with the asset localization, for it to work. So that's it. If it was helpful, please subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching. Bye.